Um, I'm Jack. Uh, this, this is the first time actually that I've like done a, a poetry um, sort of performance to camp. Uh, there was actually this one thing in, in uni that we did together that uh, doesn't, do you know, I'll just go straight in. So like the reason for this poem is it's like words have always, and like language have always been really important to me. I like, uh, ever since, I guess ever since I really like just so stories and, and rolled out, or even having them read to me, I've always wanted to write story and, and poems and um, I, I'll just go straight in. This is called, it's called this writer life. So I'll and I'm I'm, I'm gonna like put it up on, on YouTube. So I, I, if you like, just tell me what you, if you think that it's any good or uh, yeah. Um. You don't know about this life. Would you know about Harry Potter fan theories? Would you know about following me or gaming on social media? Would you know about not telling people you're a writer in case it sounds pretentious? What do you know about crossing that line from being someone who, a writer who works in the call centre to pay the bills to being someone who works in the call centre and has written stuff? What do you know about destroying the culture because actually you're only reading these online magazines because you're trying to look for somewhere to submit and not submit your own work? Not good. What do you know about having serious conversations with people about what demon you would have? Do you know about caffeine? No, really, what do you know about caffeine? Caffeine. What do you know about knowing that your vid your work will never give people as much pleasure as that Scottish woman who says, that's gas then? What do you know about having only like written 500 words of your novel, but already knowing who would play the main characters in a film and like actually which character you've written in as a cameo for yourself though even though he's like quite a bit older than me because it probably won't be made for like another sort of 11 12 years yet so I will be the right age by the time it's made pause you don't know you don't know you don't know rude boy shut up you don't know you're like 15 you don't know You don't know. What do you know about being the only one of your circle of friends who doesn't still watch Doctor Who because you're not a fucking child? What do you know about people who call their main character John? No. Fuck off. Call him some anything else. Anything else. What do you know about that person who turns up at creative writing groups? Oh, well, we're going to talk about creative writing groups. I love you all, really. What do you know about that person who turns up and reads 10 pages, um, gives you 10 pages of their 600 page fantasy novel where everything is spelled funny to read? What do you know about giving people stuff to critique and they give it back to you and they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it's really, it's really, uh, it's quite rich. It's like, it's, uh, it sort of reminds me a bit of, um, it's a bit like Neil, um, Strack, like, uh, like, so that, um, I really like the bit where, about the guy's uncle, where he sort of talks about that that place where they went once, where um. Would you know how when someone gives you something to someone you like gives you something to review and it's shit and you're just like. <laughs> Not you, obviously. What do you know about uh like? reading My Immortal and I Bargon and to make yourself feel better and be like, I, 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 I enjoy this more than I really enjoy reading serious literature. That made me a bad person. What do you know about reading The Teleportation Accident by Ned Bowman and uh, relieving a doctor station by Ben Lerner and like really sympathising with the main characters in both of those and going like, I must, I must be a horrible human being. What do you know about like being the only person in your circle of friends who doesn't like the Smiths? I mean, I mean like, that's not even a writery thing, but well, it kind of seems to be. Smiths. That's gas then. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what do you know about like not? Not telling people that you genuinely identify with Harry Haller from the Steppenwolf because, like, how fucking pretentious does that sound? 
What, what do you know about like reading Kafka? I mean, like, I, I'm not. It's just not. I don't get it. I I Ixulu. You don't know about this life. This right of life. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You think you know. You don't know. What do you know about, like, hating on Harold Bloom because apparently he said that the Harry Potter books were shit but he didn't appear to have actually read them? What do you know about, like, imagining people writing fan fiction of your work before you've even published it? What do you know about that one person who, like, prefaces their, uh, their bit of writing with, oh, it's not very good? Like, if you would, right, right, if you're that person, just stay home, just don't, just don't show your work to other people. If you're going to tell them before they've read it, please, like, I know, it's probably not very good. Most of us aren't. That, but, like, that's why we're here, do we're here to support, don't, don't tell me that your work's not good, I'll tell you, I won't tell you if it's not good, but, um. What do you know about, like, when someone shows you something, and it's just... It's just, you've just seen it so many times, I like, it's, it's fine, it's technically, it's competent, it's, it's alright, it's just, it's not, it's nothing special, it's not, it's not even bad, it's just, it's just there. What do you know about thinking exactly that about your own work? Most of the time. What do you know about writer's block? What do you know about like doubting your own intentions and being like, do I, do I actually like have an artistic vision or do, am I just, do I just want attention? What do you know about like rereading the Just So stories and going like, I definitely don't remember this racist bit. I don't think my mum read that aloud to me when I was a kid, but I'm kind of feeling a bit awkward about it now. Ring Oozle, by the way, or some kind of moorland bird. Expelli harmless. Uh, uh, oh, what do you know about your video being almost eight minutes long? What do you know about wondering where I filmed this? Um, you don't know about this life. You don't know about this writing life. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You don't know the struggles we've been through. You don't know, you don't know. You don't know about crippling self-doubt. What do you know about crippling self-doubt? You don't know. You're 15, you don't know. Shut up. So um, that was my poem. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to really hear like what you thought about it. And if, if you thought it was good, if you could just tell me, um, you know, but like tell me honestly, if you didn't think it was, if you thought it was kind of, like not very original, or if you thought it was all a bit contrived, like um, yeah, just just be honest with me and and, and to, like tell me what you think. And uh, I mean, you, you know, you can be nice about it, but um, and obviously if if you're not so interested in poetry, then I don't really kind of. I mean, you, I guess what you have to say isn't so it's not like so important to, but like especially especially if this is actually like something something that you you kind of take an interest in anyway, then then I really want to hear what you have to. Um, it's kind of a working. I do you know what? I don't really think that I'm gonna. I don't really think it's ready. I think this needs a bit more work. <laughs>